Hello, this is Chris Menard. I've got a great video today on Google Meet. I showed a video the other day that Google Meet is going to be free for everyone if you have a Gmail account, because right now Google Meet was only available to G Suite users, which is basically you're paying for Gmail plus a lot of other features. The question I kept getting asked is, can you invite people to a Google Meet that do not have a Google account? And the answer is yes, and that's what this video is going to show. So, before I show that, one other item that I was asked is how I know when Google Meet has been rolled out to my Gmail account. And the answer is really simple. Uh, open up whatever browser you want to and you're going to go to meet.google.com. Today's May 1 and look right here. Soon Google Meet will be available for free. Just click here to learn more. It'll take you to Google's official blog post which I showed the other day. I want you to come down here and click on notify me. So you're going to get Google Meet either way, but if you want to know that you've got it and can use it, you want to go to notify me, just fill in this information right here, including your Gmail account or your Google account, pick whatever you want to use and hit I accept and submit, and then you'll be notified when you get Google Meet. So here I go now with testing this. I'm going to test that anyone can join a Google Meet. They do not have to have a Google account. But before I do, I'm actually going to sign out of all my accounts right here just to prove this. Sign out. I don't want any Google accounts running. Continue. So I'm out of my accounts. I'm even, just to really test this, I'm even going to change my default browser. You don't have to do this to Microsoft Edge. So I'm not in any Google accounts and I don't even have Google Chrome as, Chrome as my default browser. Because if you recall, Google Meet is purely web-based when you're on a computer, which is a cool feature. So I'm in Outlook. This is my Office 365 home account. Chris at chrismenard.net is my Office 365 business account. In fact, look, there's Microsoft billing me somewhere in here. I don't know where it's at. There you go. So this is a Microsoft account I have. So here's the invitation that I received. I open it up. It's for a meeting. I'll pull this down so you can see it. So, Chris at chrismenard.net, I'm invited. I could click this link here to join. Let's do that. Microsoft Edge should open up. Because I just said make Edge my browser. Look up at the URL. No, I don't want the camera to start. That's okay because I'm recording. And I also don't want any audio because I'm recording. What's your name? I'm making up a name. Act like I'm Bob Smith right now. The meeting is starting. I can click on ask to join at any time. Someone has to allow me into the meeting. So the person that's running the meetings over here, I know this is a little unorthodox, but it's just me making this video. Someone wants to join this meeting, Bob Smith. That's great because I invited Bob, the person that's hosting invited Bob Smith. I'm going to hit admit. admit. I can't turn my video on. I can't turn my audio on, but I'm, I'm in the meeting right now. So it's that so. That proved the point that you can invite anyone you want to to a Google Meet. I'm trying to keep this under five minutes. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to cover in my next coming videos how you can add attachments to your meeting, how you can do Q&A in a Google Meet meeting, and how you can record a Google Meet meeting and it ends up going to your Google Drive, which you can share easily afterwards. 
Thank you for your time. Have a good day.